How do I do this? Alright guys, so we got Colony Cutter going up against Consano and Decimus. Game number one of this best of five in the quarterfinals. Obviously, we saw Abu and P2W absolutely dominate EOD. On Bedrock in, uh, I think it was round two. So now we're going to be seeing Mike Beeston returning to Halo Wars 2. This is going to be his first tournament. Uh, since he's been back, I think he's been back about four weeks now, probably on Smurfs and stuff like that. And admiration, as you all know him ve as Vexido, he actually won the last 2v2 tournament with Akon's Sidekicks. So this time, many believe that Mike is going to be a better teammate than Akon. So they are the favourites to win. They are seed number one, and we fully expect them to probably free up this team. Even though Abu and Peter Du are an extremely good team. Mike and Vex just have the edge here. And it looks like Mike's Marine is getting bullied by two scouts. But he's wiggling away. Dodging all of the shots. The Jackrabbit cannot hit shit. But the Ram going to be going down. Holding him in his place. While the Jackrabbit and Chopper finish him off. We now have a Chopper Skate Ram in. The Vorta is going to be going down. But he's going to miss it. Oh, what a fluff by Abu Mosh there. He completely misses the Vortex. Also, almost loses his chopper in the process. Uh, but we do have them both on the high ground here on the edge. The Jackrabbit is going to be blocking uh, the ram onto the chopper because he needs to keep the chopper alive. But this this chopper skit is going to kill both of them. Vexido takes down the Jackrabbit. The chopper is going to try and escape round the back while all this is going on. Looks like Peter Duyuskup has not upgraded his generator yet, but he has taken too many bases. Yeah, that chopper is on the hunt. And there goes the big ram. The scary actually locks onto it as well. And that is a great pick by Vexido Admiration there. And now he gets to take the power on their side of the map as well, while also allowing Mike to secure his power. That was absolutely crazy. One chopper skit just completely dominated two scouts. So two scouts for the cost of a marine there. Looks like no mini base steals coming down. Uh, and the power pickup from blue team has really hurt them. They're only just upgrading the generators now. Uh, Mike was a bit late on his as well. But admiration, uh, he is ahead. Leader point earned. Leader point. Another skit chopper, same one actually, almost picking off another jackrabbit as well with that ram, but the grunts are going to be chasing him down. The health bar on this thing is just so tanky. Taking shots from the sentinel now, but he's going to take down another jackrabbit. He's already paid back enough. Now he's going to be taking the blue after that kill. We got the grunts coming down in the middle. We got on the pads. The supply pads, we have an Apex coming up from Abu Mosh. You pick Decimus. They're picking up their first power node, but... So red team already have theirs. They have the central one and the right one as well. So they got two. The chopper's coming in, picking off more Jackrabbits. P2W is not having a good time against this colony player. Chopper skit still alive. Paid for itself time and time over. A lot of grunts here pushing up. Do they have grunt mine? They do not have grunt mine yet. Surely he's getting it. He is. He's ha about halfway there. The chopper skit still in the mix. Still hasn't died. Might as well just drop the heal on it. There we go. Finally goes down. Finally dies. We got snipers and marines in the middle from Mike Beaston's cutter now. And we're already halfway to third point. Got a big push down the left hand side actually. Looks like Admiration is coming back. He's gonna be building a turret, so he has scouted this. Gonna be denying the power node. Red team now have three power nodes, about to get a fourth to one. 
Jackrabbit's here. That is a lot of choppers, though. Grunt's now arriving. The Jackrabbit's only just get their upgrade. Grunt might need to go down ASAP. There's the heal from Admiration. No Grunt Mines going down. There we go. The Hell Charge and the Shrapnel Rounds going down on these Grunts. Needs to throw the Mines. Looks like Admiration's just going to back off out of range. Kiting out of distance. Does manage to lose one chopper there, but he's doing a great job with his micro here. Picking off a lot of grunts. We got the uh, Engineer Swarm healing the pads as well. And now Mike is here to help him and double team all of these grunts. Got grenade throw from him as well. So grenades are going to be going down onto the GR Kravitz. And Abu Mosh is about to get everything wiped. We've got a nice siphon going down on the red bar grunts. Gonna keep him alive for a little bit. Picks off a couple of choppers with his remaining mines, but his army is pretty much dead. And there is the ODST drop for Mike Beast on as well. The Vortex is gonna be going down. Actually, only gonna be catching two Marines. Great splits by Mike. Very good splits. And then the Rams come to clean up the rest of the Jackrabbits. Still only one power node, didn't manage to do anything in the background. And there they go. Game number one, going to be going to check your micro. Mike Beeston and Admiration uh, showing why they are number one seed. With a five minute win on Bedrock. Uh, not for twos, Frasher. I can't do the cards for twos. Plus, I don't have Mike's card or P2Ws. I don't think I have anywhere. All right, next game is going to be going down on Frontier. Right, guys, here we go. Game number two. Going to be seeing Voridus from both players. Kinsano coming out as well from Red Team. This is a really good combo on Frontier. Kinsano and Voridus, you have the 0.2 drop of the Flamer uh, and the Grenadier, which I've seen Mike and Vex use in a previous tournament as well, and they're really good at comboing them on, like, snipers and whatever they need to, really. Uh, but Colony, that chopper skit, it needs to bully early on, just like Admiration did in game number one. Uh, Abu needs to be the one bullying the opposite team with that. Probably the UNSC player is the person you want to bully the most. We'll see what happens. Harvester constructed. Free grunts running down the middle. Abin Mosh gonna be getting really aggressive. He can't catch the grunt though. Two grunts from P2W. So blue team getting really aggressive. I like this play. The Q mine! No combat spoils coming out of Admiration. We're going to be seeing the Goo Man. He's going to be shooting the uh, Sentinels here, but he's going to lose a Grunt. I do like the plays because Mike is all the way on the left-hand side, just chilling, picking up resources, making sure his build is spot on, and Admiration just needs to be careful. We have the Chopper here now. Skitter is probably not too far away. The Skitter is like 10 seconds out. Another Grunt getting picked off. Admiration at the moment is getting bullied by P2W and Abu. He's going to try and lure them into the mine, but Abu is not falling for it. He's going to wait for his skitterer. Already a raid camp coming down from the Vorridus player on that central mini place. And blue team with the early dominance here. 
He's really trying to lure him into that mine, but he's just not falling for it. We've got a nice little scout on the ledge here as well. Can see the base, sees the generator coming up. There goes the ram onto the chopper. Now he's weak, he might be trying to lure him. Oh, big ram on the ground, he's gonna take that out. Remember there's the healing spires on this map as well. Vex might lose it. Is he gonna lose it? Is he gonna chase him down? He's gonna chase- Oh no, it finally worked! <laughs> Oh my god, Admiration's probably laughing his ass off right now. <laughs> he was waiting so long to do that. Imagine if it had the skitter on as well, but the goo mine has been used. I can't see the goo, unless I got a red team. Blue team can't see the goo. But both mini bases in the middle secured by blue team, so that is a really big win for them. If he didn't lose the chopper, they'd be looking at a really good position right now. He's doubling back to pick up his power. He hasn't upgraded his generator, so he is Voridus. He probably went combat spoils as well, but now Mike Beaston is pushing up to the middle with an army of flamers and marines. I don't know if flamers and marines are going to work. Um, uh, we're expecting that choppers out of uh, Abu. We got Goliaths as well, so I guess it's fine. Uh, we got a few gooey boys coming out of P2W on this mini base. No snipers, so uh, won't be able to kite the goo boys. There goes the chop around with the skit onto another grunt. We got some goo boys out of admiration as well. The grand drop going down in the middle from P2W and the flame drop going down on all of these grunts, but that's going to get immediately stunned by the jump pad brute. P P2W is actually on his own right now. He's uh, in a 2v1 situation. The big grand drop in the choke point on all of those units and they're getting blocked. He's just sitting in the goo. He's losing a lot there. He can leave his grens in the goo because that's going to replace the goo uh, from admiration. 20 population for Abu Mosh just isn't really a lot. Might be stunned with the 42 population. The heal being forced to use on the mini base to heal up some of these units. Goliath with Skitterers now pushing up to the middle. Remember, there is no snipers, so choppers would actually be really good here. Uh, but Abu does not have enough of them. He's going to get caught out. Been bad micro there. He loses a chopper. Might lose his Goliath and Skitterer. And after that great start, they're just now starting to fall apart as red team are grouping up together. Blue team do have the mini base lead. We've got a raid camp in the middle. So that is a double raid camp from Abu. Looks like he swapped his raid camp to the middle, actually. And now red team pretty much dominate the middle. Apart from the mini bases, but... Freud is going to be making a sneaky push to the main base of Mike Beast on. He still has the barracks up. Took the power node as well. Sniper is now out. He can kite with that. A lot of these units are red bar. Grenadier is going to fall. Another Grenadier is going to fall as well. That heat of battle buff going to be really good on those snipers. And where is Abu? No, this was a mistake for blue team. They've just let P2W lose everything. No choppers to deal with these flamers and snipers. Misses the stun with the jump out, Brute. Mike now pushing up with a lot of red bar. Marines, the grand drop on top is going to be good. It's going to split out of it, but there is a lot of red bar. Flame drop on top of the grand, and we got snipers here as well, just in range to stop him, and these can go to the healing spire. Keep those alive. Mike Beast on at 69 population. P2W at 8. No units for P2W. This looks like it might be game over. Finally going to take down that mini base. We've got Suicide Grunts coming out. B2W just doesn't have anything to contest this. He's forced to put turrets back at home. He's upgrading it to anti-infantry as well. And he is forced into a raid camp because he lost the mini base in the middle. Raid camp constructed. Now red team looking really good. Got a couple of Goliaths. This might be a Goliath drop on the base of Admiration. That generator will fall. They will not get back in time to defend that. We got a Goliath on the main base of Mike Beaston as well, but three snipers going to clear that out before it could do any real damage. Oh, he's running round. No. They see it. They spot it as they run by the base. He should have just ran to the generator. He doesn't have combat spoils, so it's not like he can get it back from um, attacking. Should be able to get the harvester there. 
looks like mike is bringing his snipers glide shot gonna be going down on the generator where's where's vex's army gone admiration down to 18 population he loses an upgraded harvester the heal going down infuse mine is back up might lose another harvester here the sniper's gonna pick him off can he get the generator though look how much damage the sniper's doing oh a bit of bad micro he should have just kept oh the war council the war council actually forces the goliaths off of the generator to save it it wasn't micro it was vex's op build and now we have a Goliath on the generator of Mike Beast on. He's going to lose that as well. So Abu actually doing pretty decent there. Admiration down to 12 population. P2W back up to 24. He's just upgrading to Tech 2 now. I think Abu is going to be in Tech 1 for a long time. Mini base gets cleared out in the middle. Red team have three power nodes as well. They did some good damage on the base, but not quite enough. Admiration has the Apex coming up. Grand's falling. Command center upgrade complete. P to be with the nineteen population right now. Is he what's he doing? He's just losing everything in the middle here. Expo coming up, but there is already a flamer on it. Another push from Grunts going up to the middle. This is four power nodes to zero. About to be one. In favor of red team. Moration going to be healing up his generator. We got a couple of units uh, on whole ground at the base. Just in case something else does come to try and kill that in the meantime. But they're just going to heal that up for the time being. <clears throat> Okay, blue team are just getting dominated out of the moment. Abu 14 population, P2W 14 population. And red team are cruising right now. Raid camp constructed. Um, guys, this is a best of five. It is game number two. Our base is under attack. A chopper skit here. We got another Goliath drop going down, but there is an NG here. The generator has been rehealed. The go the grand drop, the wire ability, the counter grand drop, the heal. Everything going down, but the Rangers and Marauders are here. I don't think he'll be able to get this generator. It's a bit of a desperate play. Oh, the Hunter's brand, though, going to be taking down the generator. That is his only generator as well, by the way. I mean, so that's his only upgraded generator, his only generator, but they have four power nerds. Four power nerds is equal to an upgraded generator, so he technically still has one. So it's not too bad for him. Everybody else is on a double gen, though. It will slow down his production for a while. I mean, blue team probably think they're getting back into the game right now, just building up their army back at home, but... <clears throat> but red team have them right where they want them. Double expo coming up from red team now. We've got double air pad from Mike Beast on. Going to be going into Hornet, so they're not going to expect this one. The Consano Hornets. Extractor constructed. Augmented extractor upgrade complete. Outpost constructed. Then we're now getting the small push up. It's not a huge blob. That's here. Admiration only on 42 population. p 2 does have 45 matching him. Abamosh 36, but Mike has 67. Good grand drop in the middle of that army as well. Counter grand drop in the middle of the Rangers. Abu nowhere to be seen right now. p 2 is going to get 2v1. 
The big hell charge going down on the army, and they're going to take down this expo with ease. Peter Dewey's going to lose everything if he doesn't run away. He's getting chased down by snipers and chased down by hornets, and there you have it. Game number two, going to CYM, seek number one in this tournament, showing why they are the gods. So the third and possibly final game going to be going down on Rift. Remember, Serena and Shipmaster is banned. You can't hear the game. Listen. Oh wait, that's Nakus. Okay. <laughs> I'm reading the wrong chat. <laughs> Okay, we go game number three. Yap Yap and Jerome. Remember, Jerome did get that speed nerf. Uh, a lot of the high tier players think Jerome is really bad now, but Mike Beast then going to be pulling him out anyway. And why not? P2W also going to be pulling out Jerome. Jackrabbit opener, yeah, double scout opener. Is it Arbor? It is Arbor. Okay, we're going to be getting double scout out of red team and a double infantry opener out of blue team. So this should be interesting. As you can see, Abimosh already going for active camo. This is his signature trademark. The nerd strat for anybody in the chat who do not know what this is, it works best with Shipmaster and Arbiter. Uh, what you do is you build a grunt, you get cloaked grunt straight away, you immediately split off to all of the power nerds, and you start taking them. And it's as simple as that. You make sure the sentinels are off the plate here. See this little circle around? You make sure the sentinels are like around over here, whether you have to shoot them or what. But as long as they're away, they will not retake the nerd back. There you go, look, three sentinels just being duped by a cloak grunt. We got another one over here. And power nodes give 1.5 power per second. So if you think about it, this power extractor right now, unupgraded, gives three power per second. So that's equal to two power nodes. Four power nodes is equal to an upgraded generator. So right now, he technically has like an upgraded generator and a half with the nodes he took. We got a nice little mine from admiration from Yap on the uh, the node over here because obviously he knows it's coming. He's gonna be stealing some power over here as well. Gonna be picking up the mini bases at the back. Upgrading his. Uh Power extracts him now. A nice little scout from all of the fodder. P2W has an armory and a barracks coming up. Double generator coming out of from Abu Marsh. Obviously, he did spend 300 on the power in the early game to get those grunts. So, no mini steals this game. Everyone's going to be securing all of their mini bases. Uh, sorry guys, I was just adjusting shit. Got the armory from Mike Beast on as well. No barracks from him, so it just looks like it's going to be Marines and Jerome. It's going to be the fourth power node being picked up by Abu Mosh. That's going to help his team a lot. And I mean a lot. Four power nodes. Fodder trying to take the node over here, but it's not going to happen, I'm afraid. 
So Abimosh, just going to be spamming the grunts. Why not? He's already committed to the power. Don't mind on the ramp here. Abu does see it though, so he's just going to send one grunt into there. Get rid of those so he doesn't accidentally all unit into them later on. That red team going to start and try to take the other power node back. And Peter, do you going to be denying the power node in the middle? Looks like Mike did manage to decap that one. Going to be decapping one on the left as well. So red, te red team now starting to take all the power nodes back. Where is Abu? Abu can now go take two though, so he can have a take two army. Still pretty early in the game. He's got an expo coming up here that has already been harassed by a couple of marines and a grunt. And look how much damage they've already done to this. There we go. The nerds are going to be taken aback. Got the double generator from Mike Beast on now as well. Double generator from Admiration. And they're grouping together. I really like how these two play. They stick together. Mana is going to be going down. The reason he's doing that is because Jer Jerome himself got a nerf uh, to his speed, but the Mantis did not. This base is up and running. We got a double raid camp on it. All Blue's army is over here. Where's the Jerome? Jerome is here as well. He has not dropped his manus. He's looking to do the combo. But we do have a lot of choppers nearby. Can easily take down that manus very quickly. On Apex on the main base. He's in Tech 2. P2W upgrading the second generator. He's not too far away from Tech 2. And this expo has been upgraded as well. Going to have probably one energy coming out just to heal this up. While Red Team are sat right outside. No control still going on on the other side of the map. We've got the cloak drones taking those back. Peter Dude just queued up tech two. Okay, choppers coming in. Ranger unfortunately gonna come out in the ball of choppers there. And he's gonna heal the base up nicely. The base is now locked with Hunter coming out. Big man's drop coming down and the man's on top as well. The Yat Man's going down with the Rams. We got the uh Condor Rage Man's, the Stasis Man's going down, and also Mike's Victory Man's as well. All going to be trading mines there. A lot of choppers are red bar. Looks like Mike's Mantis is going to fall. Does Peter do have the armory coming up? He needs the armory coming up so he can get uh, the upgrade immediately as he hits tech 2. Might be stunned nowhere near tech 2 yet. This base is being harassed. If he can get tech 2 Jerome ASAP, he needs that armory up. He's going to help him here. But the big beam going to be coming down on the Jerome and he's not watching. Everything's going to get melted. All the Marines go down. Jerome's super weak. The man has fall and Jerome is dead. What a beautiful beam by admiration there. That is not what they needed. Mike can now go tech 2 as well. They just have nothing. This is going to be a good Sui. Oh, it's a beautiful Sui. These Hunters aren't going to do anything here though. The Salvo going down onto the Expo. The hunter is going to get taken down. Shield trying to come up out of the bat, but it's just nothing. It's impossible. It's not going to be able to come up. That gets taken down, and this looks like a 3 nil sweep for Mike and Admiration. Jerome does fall off. Mike does not micro him away to the back. Is he going to save the base? He might save this base. Admiration 14 population, Mike still at 45, Abimosh 25, P2W 24, if he just kept the Jerome alive, Mike lost his Jerome for nothing there, he's going to be forced to back away, the NG comes in to save the base, Suicide Grunt's taking down a couple of Marines there as well, wow, the complete turnaround. at least they traded uh, leaders there, Improved Inspire now going to be coming out, for P2W. P2W is Jerome's ahead. He's on Hogs. He's going to get the Tech 2 upgrade well before Mike. He's actually healing the raid camp instead of the uh, base. Shields are now going to be coming up on this base. Both of Red Team going to be picking up their Expos. Yeah, Goblin's coming out for Admiration. Double War Council for him. And Mike gets Tech 2, but he cannot afford that upgrade. P2W already has the upgrade, but what's he going to do with it? Is he going to sit back or is he going to push out? Because at the moment, he's just sat back, which allows Mike to catch up. Here comes the shield gen for Abu Mosh. 
third power extractor coming up for him. And is it a ranger spam? Looks like it's just going to be a ranger spam coming it out. Power extractor constructed. We've got a couple of hogs in the middle. Going to run into our. There we go. Could be the push up. He can push that base. He's a tech 2 goblin, sir. And this is Admiration's production as well. If he can kill this expo, blue team going to be in a really good spot. Going to be in a really good spot if he can set down this expo. Abu already has his upgraded. They still have all of the power nodes as well. Mike Beaston almost has the Jerome Tech 2 upgrade. Marauder coming out, but the Hogs can't fight here. We've got a lot of choppers here. Heal coming down. Great heal there by Vex. Healing all of the choppers and the Marauder as well. My phantom is ready to join the fight. <laughs> fight. Abbott Marsh is going to be going into phantoms. I believe that might have been fourth point. We've got mines coming down here. One hog is going to connect. Yeah, he's going to drive into that. A lot of hogs here. Pushing onto admiration. Victory turret going down. Mines from Mike Beeson is going to get cleaned up though. They're not going to go off. Mike has to get over here. It's basically P2W versus admiration at the moment. And P2W looks like he is winning this fight for the time being. Arbor is here. To help him. We've got the Phantoms coming over. That's it to upgrade for the Abbot coming down. Oh, the Mana Strop misses. The Salvo coming down. Going to connect with a couple of those. Yap drop going to be coming down. The Gunstone above. And there comes the Salvo. That is a great Salvo on top of all of those units. Victory turret as well to block them as they're going up the ramp. Big fight going down. The Methane Wagon gets focused down because it does provide a 20% debuff. We do have some weak goblins here. Got Beam again coming down from Admiration on all of the army. It's going to be missing though. Missing a lot of units. Now gets onto the Hogs. He's going to take down a lot of Hogs. A lot of Hogs fall. The Mantis falls. The base falls to the Enforcers with the Conduit of Rage buff. Blue team can now just back out. That was a good win for them. Oh, they're going to lose the Jerome, unfortunately, for P2W. So red team are not going to come out of that with nothing. Now turret is going to be forced to mid on this base. Needs to get that Jerome out ASAP. And red team are going to be pushing. Alright. So admiration now only has one apex. He has no production. Here's the big push. The enforcer's going in again onto that base. The phantoms need to get over here to help. Big rams coming down from P2W. Mines back up for Mike Beaston. But he has his Tech 2 leader. We have three Tech 2 goblins here. Do not believe they will be able to hold it. Instead of fighting the Expo, they're going to be pushing to the main base. The Enforcers might do a lot of damage as they go in. A lot more Phantoms coming in, but he needs Conduit of Rage. The Yatman is going to be going down at the back. Turret needs to get upgraded. He's got a second one on the way. The Enforcers do arrive at the main base. Mike Beaston can now go Tech 3 if he wants to. This will be the closest game out of them all. One of the Yat goblins do fall. The Enforcers are on the base, but there is Hogs and a Wolverine there to defend that. Red Team going to back off. A lot of Hogs going to be falling to these Phantoms. Now all of the power nodes pretty much in control of red team. Is it three power nodes to two? I was looking really comfortable in this game. Look at his economy. 2,700 blue, 1,000 power. Peter would be really struggling. He could do with some resources from his teammate and Mike and Vex struggling as well. Obviously losing that extra was a big cost for them. They should push this again. They know they're ahead. They know they killed it. And an army of phantoms looking very juicy right now. There we go, the supplies come across to P2W from Abu Mosh. All these hogs are dead. The Phantoms just completely obliterated them. Faster than them as well, they just all got killed. Mike looking in a tough spot at 29 population right now. No turrets on his base. Admiration only just building his base. Might have a series, folks. We've got Jerome inspired tanks coming out. we got Phantoms coming out. Blue team looking really good right now. Here 
Here we go. The push onto Mike's base. There is one for it now. Jerome Tank's coming out from Mike as well, but Peter W has the advantage. Why is he running away? His teammate's going all in here. That is a tech free Mantis. Banshee's coming out from Admiration. Arbor is weak. Here come the tanks pushing up. Might be able to kill one of these goblins. Jerome's here as well. The Mantis drop going to be going down. Oh, the Meth Empire going to be dealing with all of this. A lot of weak tanks. Mike on 18 population. Abu on a sweet 100. We got the beam coming down onto two of the tanks. Going to be able to kill those. But there is the buff from the enforcers as well. Jerome's Mantis almost falling. There comes the Selva on top of the Phantoms. But they could just run out of that. They're too fast. Abu 96 population. Peter to use 76. Another goblin's about to fall. There's too many tanks and too many phantoms here for red team to hold. As soon as this base drops, we're probably going to see a resign. A mega team going to be coming down. Going to be stealing some of these tanks. Yeah, you're going to be taking the tanks instead of the phantoms. Jerome, however, he's getting sliced and diced by the Arbiter. He almost falls. He does fall as he gets in the garrison. The base falls. Red team resign. Abu and P2W managed to pull a game back. Abu and P2W managing to pull it out of the bag there. So it is 2-1 so far in this series. Uh, welcome everybody joining from Naka's stream. I hope you're enjoying the tournament so far. Now we are getting going. Game number four, going to be going down on Mirage. What combos are we going to see from the players this time? I believe blue team still have Kirk and Sana. Okay, so in the other quarterfinals, Hero Kills managed to 2 0 El Hechi and Cars and Cameras. And XCA's a reprisal, which is Mighty Hogs and XCA, currently tying 1 1 with Vegans with Guns, which is Be Safe the and Rock Generation. That was like a really good series going over there as well. And over here, we are currently 2 1 in favor of CYM, Mike Beaston, and Admiration, who haven't actually lost the 2v2 tournament together so far. But Abu Mosh and P2W putting up a good fight. Thank you for the follow, Saipo T Man. And Jimmy B earlier as well. So here we go. Interesting combo. Coming out from uh, Mike Beeston and Admiration, we're going to be seeing Decimus teamed up with Johnson here versus Atriox and Cutter. I mean, Atriox should do fine against the bunker. Boy, here we go. Game number four. Let's see if Abu and P2W can stay in the series. They need to win this or they are out of the tournament.
supply pad constructed. So we got the chopper up and out. Marine opener, was that? Yeah, Marine opener. He's going to try and steal a mini base and he's going to be going for the power as well. This is going to be a wasted trip for him. He's going to be able to kill a grunt over there. And he's going to be able to steal some of the power because blue team both went for the middle with their units. They're going to be sharing the power in the middle. That's what you call teammates. This is what you call love in a team. Sharing the big bundle of power in the middle. Every time I try and do that, it doesn't let me pick up the power. It's gay. Right, looks like Peter Rue just preparing to pick up that early power node. That's definitely going to help. Definitely going to help with their power early on. Mike's going to be stealing the garrison. This is going to be super annoying. Uh, but blue team do secure all three garrisons in the center of the map. Who's going to be the first to pick up the double though? I think this is a, a blue team double mini to personally. They have all the garrisons. Red team probably don't want to take that. Got the barracks fourth coming out from Mike Beaston. Did see the triple harvester opener for admiration. We are going to be seeing the chosen come out. So the chosen is going to be coming up against bunker snipers. Um, and look, we get a double barracks on P2W. He means business, but who is going to be the one to commit to grenade for her? or grunt mines? Unless they're just going to rely on the Chosen to kill the Choppers, because there's definitely going to be seeing Choppers come out. There we go, Raid Camp going down in the middle. So he's going to be going countermeasures, I believe. Apex as well. He's committing a lot of production early on. We have a double Barracks coming out of Mike Beaston. And we're seeing Flamers come out for him, Snipers as well. So he has a, a big early unit count. Uh, count. Red team picking up their second power node. Blue team are going to be struggling to pick up this power node. So they're going to be on one power node versus two here. So a little bit behind. Thank you for the follow. Good guy, Angus. Red camp now back up. Jump up is coming out. This will be a true test of micro for Mike Beaston. He needs to keep the snipers away from the chosen and the jump up brute spam. There we go. Sniper's going to be able to clear out barracks. The garrison over here. We got plasma mines going down in the middle. They're going to get picked off, but it's going to leave the plasma down. Oh, the bunker! Going to be stunning a couple of units. The suicide grunt going into the bunker. Remember, suicide grunts stun buildings, and the bunker is classed as a building, so the suicide grunts going into that will stun the units inside. Jump out Bruce will do a lot of damage to it as well. Big Vortex coming down, catching two snipers there. P2W gets caught out. Red team powering through just because they're sticking together as well. Blue team got caught split and losing a lot of units there. The Chosen is out, but he's not upgraded. Got an Engineer healing a Suicide Grunt. But now a lot of snipers from Mike Beast on. Abu on 20 population. Mike has 51 Admiration 41, Peter W 36, and he did lose two snipers early on as well. The Chosen now getting a few shots taken down. It looks like Blue Team are going to lose the middle. They don't have the mine for the bunker because they already used it. So this is going to get pushed in. There's a double raid camp going down on here. Suicide guns coming out, but before the animation stops, they're getting picked up by all of these snipers. The Chosen almost falls. He doesn't have the upgrade yet. Gets the upgrade now, but he has lost his shield. And there's only two snipers here versus three. They are, they are on their own. He can focus these down. Looks like he gets a few shots at them. But blue team lose the double mini, and now red team have the dominance. They have the high ground. They have the dominance, and blue team need to think of something else to do. So, uh, it is extremely tough on Mirage when you do lose the early game like this and lose the middle. It's really hard to bounce back. Uh, we got the base being picked up by Abu on the left-hand side. He's not building units at all. He's going into a double gen and an expo. He's not going to help his teammate.
So the big push up to the main base. Peter, are you trying to dodge? He actually dodged a sniper shot there. Fighting with the grunts. Grunt mine going to be going down onto his snipers. He needs to be careful. He's going to lose one sniper. Mike's chasing him down. Look how many snipers he has. Holy crap. This looks like it is going to be game over. They have no drops to be able to take down all these snipers. The Chosen in a bad spot right now. He's trying to wiggle his way out of it, but it's just not working. The snipers now split. The Chosen going to go down, and this is going to be game over. Not resigning yet though. There's a sewage drop. He went sewage drop on the snipers. Mike's splitting. He's running away. He doesn't want to die. <laughs> One goes down. The snipers pick off the rest. That is unfortunate. Base getting stripped. I don't know what blue team are trying to do here. They could resign. The game's pretty much over. And maybe they can. Maybe they think they can bounce back from this. Uh, Abu has an expo. He's upgrading to tech two. Our red team are going over there. Going to the mini base. Going to be taking their power node as well. That's going to be four power nodes to zero. Abu gets in tech two at seven minutes. P2W. Uh, he's got seven population. Cannot get tech two. I'll be right back, guys. Send a night to my son. Off. All right, guys. How about that? Looks like we're still in the same situation. Mike and Vex gonna be winning this series three to two. Three to one. <laughs> My bad.
Up next. <clears throat> Up next is going to be Al Morante and Nintendo Hippie.